Hey guys, Scott, Killer Minis, Painting and Gaming. Today we're going to do an unboxing of Street Masters by Blacklist Games. So this is a Kickstarter I did not too long back. Feels like it's been about a year. And they did a heck of a job getting this completed on time. Might even been a little bit early, I forget, but... This is one of those Kickstarters that starts, and the more they unlock, the more you feel like, are they going to be able to produce all of this? Grab some of the cellophane off, and take a look at the box itself. I do like the artwork. Nice. Nice. Now, I was probably only a casual Street Fighter video game player. Oh, I got some damage here. You see that? So, anyhow, that's one reason why I do these unboxings. I doubt I'm going to say anything about that, though. All right, so open it up. Rules of play. Looks like it's 15, 16 pages. Nice. All right. We are back. OBS crashed on me. So we're going to continue with these tokens. You can see these are pretty good quality. I do like the artwork. Mainly because it's simple. Sometimes people get a little complicated with tokens. I got too much going on. And here's some nice artwork for the characters if you maybe didn't want the minis. Huh. What's wrong with you? These are die cut real well. They're popping out good. Um, here's some more. They're coming through clean. I like that again. Nice and clear. You can tell from a distance. Obviously, damage markers. A splotch of blood. And we get... Alright. Let me switch. Don't like that. Glare. So here's the artwork. You can see this is pretty good thick quality. It's taking quite a bit just to get even the flex. So I'm happy with that cardstock. Definitely. It's got a nice gloss to it. As you can tell. It's definitely some terrain features, but it's not overly complex. Good area for an arena battle. Nice. I don't even know all that's in here, to be honest with you. There were so many things being opened in this Kickstarter or unlocked that I couldn't even keep up with it. I was just like, you already had me. Take my money. <laughs> I get what I get. Yeah. And honestly, after... Um, playing No Sanctuary. It was a Brady Sadler game as well. I went into the Pledge Manager and I ordered some extra stuff. It really boosted my confidence with their abilities. So, here are standard dice. I like that. Nice and clear from a distance. What's going on? Looks like you got white and red. I'm not sure if those are levels of attacks or offensive defense. So here's the base doodads. Ooh, and these are nice. They are um, more flexible than I've had, like with the zombie side VIPs. These look like they'll fit good because they're, they have a flex to them. I like that. And I think I got extras. I'm glad I did. Look! And all these cards. Holy cow. If you look here, it's, man, a lot of cards. And I'm probably not going to open because I want to keep them. But you can get an idea of the artwork here. I like the iconography, real simple. Special abilities in the bottom. And we know the main star of the show is going to be the figures. But not only that, but these are poker sized. 
None of that mini card stuff. Let's go ahead and open one of them. So we can get a feel for the quality of the card. I'm not sure if we did an extra stretch goal to increase the quality of them. Okay, they're they're decent. They're uh, they're not linen, obviously. You can tell that right away. Definitely are a little bit on the thin side, which you'd expect with so many darn cards. The artwork I really like. I like the colors. I like the design. Um, not a big deal. Just means that if you want to maintain their prestige state, um, definitely gonna have to sleeve them right these must be well these are the story decks and these look like they're a little bit thicker than the standard cards gotta say I'm impressed so far definitely now these are um, these are a little bit thicker but not much all right and here are some the smaller cards turkey platter <laughs> Let's take a look at these. Very card heavy game, um, but it's card and dice, which is kind of what I was looking for. Mm, I love the artwork on this stuff. It is totally retro. And it's very like, this is what it is. There's no doubt when you see this on the table. Yep, those are smoke bombs. Cash. Turkey platter. Must be food for... You may give this card to a fighter. Jason, do you and discard and heal three damage. Nice. Stink bombs. Small top cocktail. Lead pipe. Brass knuckles. <laughs> totally 80 sneakers. <laughs> I, I'm really digging the artwork on this. All right. So that's where we're at so far. It's got a nice insert here to separate the cards. I think there were some dividers too and maybe maybe that's what some of these are I don't know yeah story pool allies and rivals these must be the dividers so you can see they'll fit right in here nice okay I'm digging that that's good design and then we've got the nice um, blister packs for the figs so I'm going to switch to the overhead for a second, which is going to look quite similar. A little bit at a weird angle because of it being reverse. All right, let me scoot up. So I'm going to do a really bad job <laughs> at describing who's who. So Big guys, these are decent for you know plastic figs, one piece molds. Um, actually, it looks like there's some seam lines there, so they weren't one piece molds, but that'll get more detail. So you can see a good amount of detail on that face. He's pretty chunky. This guy here is a bit more slender, and unfortunately, a little shallow on the facial details there, but. These are, I guess, enemy minions because there's multiples of these dudes. So these are just like your, your minions, your standard troops running at you. And of course, the bigger guys. And you can see some seam lines there. We can fill that in no problem. I love this. This guy looks great. And you can see that the face... Even at that scale, it's just a tiny bit shallow, but it's not too bad. You got to remember, even in this box, there's like 50 figures, I think. <clears throat> so there's three of those like Scottish fighters, five of them, probably more in the subsequent packs. So and here, I think, is one of the main characters. So that's good detail in the face. It's just a slight bit shallow. And I think what's happened is probably the same thing that happened in No Sanctuary is they rendered everything 
based on the 3D sculpts, like right from artwork that must have been given, possibly given to them. And they ported it over. So here on the face you can see, very it's very shallow, you can barely even see the lips. So, but then again, you have to remember this is a board game. So even though everybody's, you know, even myself included, I'll buy it because of the tons of minis. For a board game piece, these are really high quality and probably about the best that this material can do. I think they did a better job than uh, The Walking Dead No Sanctuary for sure. See here on the face, there's a lot more detail. It's not shallow. So you might just run into that problem with a few of the sculpts. And this guy's pretty beefy. Nice details in the face, you know. It's funny, when, when you run into the shallowness, you don't generally have that problem if the model's kind of epic scale, if it's a big dude. And here you can see she's got a little bit of contour issue with the lips, but we can paint that detail in. We got a bent, a little bendy uh, thing there. But overall, I do like, there's a lot of really good detail here in the clothing. All right. Not sure where she came from. There we go. Let's put it back. Come on, focus. All right, look at that guy. He's mean. Did a good job. Really, really, um, to be honest with you, <laughs> when I was, when I was getting the Kickstarter, I was like, oh, I don't know how the figures are going to be. Um, but I got to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was trying to keep my expectations low. And as a matter of fact, let me let me try something here. A little. It seems like they definitely had a problem with the lips and stuff. But there was enough there that you can paint it on. But honestly, at that angle with their with the downturned face from up above, you're not going to see that as you're looking at it. But Check out this guy. A second, I believe this is one of the main characters. Pretty good on the face there. Nice detail for clothing. That's a telltale sign for like really cheap sculpts. Um, <laughs> nothing against Manic, but um, if you look at some of their Walking Dead figures, like there's a lot of character in the face, and then when it comes to the clothing, you don't see folds and detail like this. It's um, kind of where they ended up skimping. So that looks nice. Um, let's look at the last tray here. Wow. So I'm still kind of just taking everything in. Again, you kind of see what's going on in the mouth area. And that's been explained to me that when they when they get the, the 3D file, if they don't exaggerate certain features, it will be lost in the reproduction process. Once you get through um, to casting into the mold and mass production, you're going to be a little shallow in some areas if you don't like over accentuate. So... This guy's pretty basic, but, ooh, this guy's neat. Check this dude out. He's bigger, so like the lips are there. Definitely, if you look at the back, you can see there's, there's a lot of gap going on. You know, and these were pre-assembled for you, so yeah. There's even some excess super glue. There's a quite a lot of mold lines going on here. If you wanted to expertly paint these, um, it's going to take some effort. But, ooh, boy, this is one of the main guys, and he looks cool. 
He's got a lot of good detail going on the face. They probably made sure they did him a couple times, but boy, look at that mold line. Nothing that a good, good razor can't take off. So here's another. Ooh, I like this one. There's a lot of really cool characters in this. And I'm not sure what's going on with our heroes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I because of that mold line, it makes it look like camel toe. <laughs> we know it's just the mold line. Now this one, I don't know, man. I think she has like a leather suit on, which is why it looks like that. Um, that's going to take a lot of cleanup. But who knows, once you clean it up and throw some good primer on it, these things are probably more true to scale. I was kind of hoping they might be a little bit more epically proportioned. But that's okay. There is so much character going on with these guys. And here's... This is really... It's like it's a bad cast, honestly. So... You, know, you just look, look at the chain. It's all kind of melted. Like it pulled it out too soon. Yeah. But these are minions again, so I think they did the minions maybe a little differently. So these guys we're going to batch paint. The characters so far I've been pretty darn happy with. Here's, I think this guy's a minion. And he looks better. You see, look how large that bracelet looks. Yeah. Some pretty good gaps going on. And let's take a look at this one here. Ooh, I like that. That's a cool looking model. Plenty of detail going on there. They went ahead and made sure that one was done right. <laughs> Except for that gap. Ooh, here's one of the main. This gal here. What's going on with her lower face there? Is it just me? Let's get a little closer. Yeah, see that's shallow details. Something going on with the cast. We can try to paint through that, hopefully. Hmm. I kind of want to say that's a miscast. Yeah, not... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can do that all night. Yeah, yeah, low kick, high kick, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we can, we, if you look further back, we, we can, uh, we can paint around that. It's really small. Like I said, these are, these are real true scale. If you look at my, and I've got small hands too, but if you look at my finger here, like a space marine will, will cover up this almost and she's so we're talking like um infinity type scale maybe a little thicker but pretty close to that if i had to make a comparison so wow so i'm, I'm pretty psyched um like i said my expectations of the figures i tried to keep them reasonable Let's go back to the overhead. Try to keep those as reasonable as I could. So that way I wasn't like overhyping it. Because after all, it truly is a, it's a tactical board game. A lot of it's more about the cards and the game itself, which I was pretty, pretty blessed. Look at that artwork on that. Yeah. So guys, that's it for now. I will follow up with some of my expansion boxes and we will take a look at those. And hopefully um, you'll dig it and uh, we'll see. We'll get to learn the rules and I'll try to put out a gameplay when I can. So till next time, till next time guys, killer minis, double pieces on the way out. Subscribe, dude. Subscribe. Subscribe. <gasps> <laughs> I can do that all night. Yeah, yeah, low kick.